Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Rosa. I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into the video. Have a happy holiday and let's get started. So what is the PTCE exam? The PTCE exam stands for the Pharmacy Technician Certification Examination. It is an exam that is required to be taken if you want to become a certified pharmacy technician. A lot of jobs do require you to be certified by a certain point, so that is the reason why you want to take this exam and become certified. So the PTCE is a computer-based test that is taken at Pearson View Testing Centers. I actually had to go to a Pearson View Testing Center as well. Luckily for me, it was only about like 10 minutes from my house, so I did not have to stress out and go very far. They have locations located all across the country. You put in your zip code on the website and it shows you how you can find a site that's close to you and i'll put it up on the screen right here if you guys want to see i don't even know if i'll be able to log back in but i'm gonna try this is the pearson view webpage for the ptcb pharmacy technician certification board exam and if you want to find out where you can schedule an exam or if you have a login you can go right here and to find the testing center just click right here and then i'm gonna put it in illinois I already have that on here. We'll put Illinois. We'll press search. But you can do this for any state that you're in. And it just has some information right here. And then it'll give you a list of the testing centers closest to you. And so these are just like random ones. I guess this is like the centralized location. I literally just put Illinois for an example to see what would show up. And yeah, here you go. You can do this for your state, your closest city that you're in. It'll be able to read that for you. And this is how to navigate that website. This is the email that I got to show my testing information. What exactly is the PTCE? The PTCE is a two hour exam and you have 90 multiple choice questions and 80 of them are scored and the other 10 are not scored. The 10 that are unscored are to gauge kind of the level that people are at and to see if there's any additional questions they may want to ask in the future. So don't worry about the unscored ones. You won't really know which ones they are, but just know that 10 of the questions that you're answering won't count or negatively affect your score. So I know it's a two hour exam, so one hour and 50 minutes of it is going towards all your questions and then you have 10 minutes for the additional optional post survey at the end if you wanna take that. So how are you eligible to take the PTC B, oh, PTCE examination to get PTCB certified? Okay, you have to live within the U.S. So you can only take this exam if you are in the United States. That is the only way. You can't be located in any other country. You have to be here in the U.S. The exception to this is that U.S. military members or their spouses are able to take it anywhere within the world if they choose to do so. To be eligible, let's say you don't fall into that category. How would you be eligible? So you, first is pathway one. You, pathway one is that you have to take a PTCB certified training or education program within 60 days. You have to complete that. And that's one of the ways you can be eligible. And then the second way is you have to have relevant work experience as a pharmacy technician. You at least need about 500 hours of working in the pharmacy in order to be eligible to take the PTCB examination. An alternative path is good if you aren't able to take that class. Because for me, like I was actually able to do both. I had over 500 hours of working in the pharmacy and I was able to take the class through my work. I worked at Walgreens and they paid for it. It was free, I got books. The books I talk about in my Pass a PTCB in four days, that's where I got my book from, I got it for free. We went over a lot of material. I got to meet, I think about like five times or so at a local site where you know we went over questions we read the book together we answered worksheets sorry my dog is barking so that's kind of the way and how i was able to go about it i didn't do pathway one i actually did pathway two well technically i kind of did both but if you aren't in the position where you are already working you might have to do pathway one I'm gonna share a little bit about how my experience was at the Pearson View Testing Center for taking the PTCE exam. Okay, so I woke up, ate my breakfast, got ready. I took a little granola bar and some water with me to the testing center. It took me about 10 minutes to get there, so I didn't really have to leave too much ahead of time, but I did leave still about 30 minutes early just in case there was like an accident or something. And I actually didn't go completely 
where my testing center was. I actually had to use the GPS because I've never gone to that location before. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't get lost and I'm really glad I did get there early. Where I took my test at was like underneath a building. Like I had to walk down some stairs and it was kind of confusing. So I'm really glad I got there early. So this goes for you guys. If you get to your testing center, make sure you get there at least 30 minutes early because you're going to be in a new environment. You might not know exactly where it is. You want to plan out time if you need to go to the bathroom, if you get lost. Maybe if you want to take some last minute notes um, to look at beforehand. If you do have enough time, take them with you. But I didn't do that. I don't feel like there's a need to use notes because you're not really going to remember much when you're kind of stressing out last minute. So it's really up to you. And once I got there, you know, I went down some stairs, looked really creepy, kind of reminded me of like a church, but like a scary one, even though it wasn't, it was like some type of like education building, I think. And I went in, I found the room, found a nice lady who was the proctor for the exam. She told me um, to go to the bathroom if I needed to before I um, completely walked in. You have to have your ID, so make sure you carry your ID with you or some type of identification. But most likely it will be either a state ID or a driver's license. That's You're going to need something with your identification on it. And from there, you're going to be asked to take everything out of your pockets and put it in a locker. And you get a key to keep with you to lock up all your stuff. And you take that with you when you're in the exam room. Your proctor will walk you to your area where you're taking your test at. It'll be a computer. It's kind of like a little cubicle type area. And, you know, she sat me down and she t gave me also like a piece of paper. That's like a dry erase paper and markers. And you don't get an actual eraser. So whenever you're done and you need more of the dry erase paper, you just kind of got to raise your hand and they will bring you more. And they'll take the other one away from you because you can't really erase anything. Once I felt good to start, you get two hours to take your exam. So on the computer screen, it has a little like area where it says like, oh, you know, to start your PTCB exam. I press go and I was ready. It has a couple of questions to start off with just to make sure you know how to answer. Like the multiple choice questions, it just kind of shows you and walks you through how to like click them. And you, it's optional, you don't have to do that part. Like if you're good, like just keep going and start the actual exam. I had my two hours. I think I finished within like an hour and 30 minutes, I would say. I didn't use the full two hours because I was pretty confident when I was taking the exam. I didn't really go back into many questions. I think at the end of the exam, I had about 10 questions left that I was kind of iffy on, but I didn't really put too much thought into my answers of those or changing them way too drastically. I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to do my best try and answer them as best as I can. If I get them, I do. If I don't, I don't. But other than those 10, the rest of the questions I felt very comfortable in. I felt like I answered them fairly well. I think I ended up scoring like a 14... 35 I want to say I'll make a next video on what my actual score was and the breakdown of that because I can pull that up and I do have that but off the top of my head I don't really remember my score but it was like in the low 1400 so I mean I still passed and it's whatever because you really only need a 1400 to pass it goes up to 1600 if you get 1600 awesome you know everything not everything but you know a lot but I got a low 1400. I didn't care. I just wanted to pass. And luckily for me, I did. I was really nervous pressing that like, you know, complete button because it's just kind of nerve wracking to press those, you guys. You never know what you're going to get and how your score is going to be. But I lucked out. And so that's a little bit how my experience was at the testing center. Your experience may be a little bit different. For the most part, I feel like all of these proctors exams are pretty similar, except you might be in a different environment like wherever it's located at like this was very different for me because I'm used to being like an office building and this one was like more in a basement so that was kind of sketchy but it still worked out fine and you know I passed my exam so hopefully I get another test there someday in that testing center because I like that it was close to my house very convenient if you guys gotta travel um I say don't drive more than an hour if you're gonna drive more than an hour somewhere like stay at a hotel or something if you can and if you're able to afford it because it's just too stressful to drive more than an hour somewhere like you're already going to be in a new place thinking about driving there like that's going to be really stressful and you want to do well in your exam you don't really want to think about any other outside factors that may play into it that will affect your score so if you get the opportunity maybe stay at a friend's house lives a little closer if you have the opportunity please do so
and just try to find a close testing center make sure you eat your breakfast the night before get some good rest and um, make sure you study as much as you can i wouldn't really study like the evening before because you still want to relax you still want to like kind of unwind and i feel like doing like a ton of last minute studying isn't always the most beneficial because you're going to be overthinking a lot of things too that's just kind of my advice right there so yeah there is that video you guys thank you guys so much for watching please let me know if you have any questions for me anything you want to know more about the uh exam how to get ptcb certified any of that please let me know in the comment section down below i love making these videos for you guys and make sure you subscribe to my channel so thank you guys again so much have a happy holiday and i can't wait to see you again here soon